Stick around to the very end of the video because I've got a secret I'm going to tell you after I show you this fantastic fly trap. Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? I made a fairly exciting discovery yesterday that I really wanted to share with y'all. It's been raining here today, uh, on and off, and it's going to continue to do so for the rest of the day. But I wanted to share with you all this really exciting fly trap, I guess you could call it, that I've just recently discovered. You see, my wife, she feeds some stray cats down here. We've got two of them, two males, that hang around and she feeds stray cats. There's always a little bit of food left over and we have a lot of issues with flies. So I wanted to share with you an extremely effective and new method of killing flies. It's so simple. You've probably got everything you need in your kitchen right now with the exception of maybe some alcohol. But let me show you what you're gonna need. First, you're gonna need just your regular old everyday table salt. Then some liquor. You need hard liquor of some kind that needs to be clear. I happen to have tequila there, but any hard liquor that's clear will work. You need a bottle cap or anything that's very small that will hold a liquid. You need a very small stick, uh, about three inches long and you need a rock. Now let me show you what you do with these. Okay, first you pour you out some salt. Next to the salt, you put the bottle cap. Inside the bottle cap, you pour some of your alcohol. Make sure you get something strong, make sure it's clear. Next to that, you place the stick next to the rock. And here's what happens. This salt happens to have rice in it to keep it dry and to keep it from clumping up. And that comes in handy with this fly trap as well, because to the fly, it just looks like some maggots. So here's what happens. The fly is just out doing its thing, you know, doing what flies do, landing on plants, flying here, flying there, everywhere. And all of a sudden, it spots the salt. It thinks, hey, sugar. It goes down, starts eating some of this sugar. Oh, it's not sugar. Oh, now see, on a day like this, this doesn't work too well because it's raining, so there's water everywhere. But normally, the fly looks for water. Hey, there's some water real handy right next door. I'm going to get some water because well, that sugar's not sugar. It's salt. So I'm drinking water. Oh, wait a minute. I'm feeling a little... Oh, oh, oh. Why that, why that, why that may not be... That may not be water at all. That, that, that might be, oh man, do I feel drunk. Oh, oh. So the fly starts to stumble him. He's walking along trying to figure out why he feels so bad. He trips over the stick. He hits his head on the rock. And then you have yourself a dead fly. Now we're going to, I know, I know, you're laughing. I know, you're laughing. And I understand, I did too. We're gonna leave this set up here for about 30 minutes and we'll be back. And I'm sure by that time we'll have some Okay, that's okay, you go ahead and laugh right now. You'll see when we come back in about 30 or 45 minutes. Laugh if you will. And maybe all this rain is helping actually because the fly has got nowhere else to go but up here. But laugh if you will. Four of them in one hour. Now that's not really enough to get rid of the uh, amount that we have out here on a hot summer day when that cat food's down there just begging to be eaten. <laughs> Look at there. You can even see where it looks like one of them took a bath in that stuff. Anyway, it works. Set one up, try it out. Salt, not sugar. 
clear, alcohol, not beer, a stick, a rock, dead flies. This is not my typical video, but I was so excited after this discovery, I just had to share it with you guys. So we'll be seeing you next time on my next video, which will probably be on the Battleship Texas on July 4th. Hope you guys can meet me there. It's been a Jeep, a drone, and an old man. We'll be seeing you next time. Wait for it. Hope you stuck around to the end because there's a secret I need to tell you. And you probably already figured it out. That ain't gonna do a dang thing for flies.